What's up guys? Uh, some guys had asked uh, about a quick uh, walk around vid of my uh, JK here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, <clears throat> we'll start over here, we'll start with the wheels. These are LRG, LRG 105s. Um, these are size 17s, those are 35 uh, inch uh, the Dick Epic Mud Countries. Um, they're pretty awesome. Uh, I had a 33 set and I wanted a 35 for the JK, that's what I did. Um, I actually have custom cut fenders uh, just because um, uh, I, I had I had the 35, so I had to, I had to do something uh, about the fenders. I have bushwhackers in order. They're sitting on a pallet for me right now, waiting to be shipped out of California. I got these um, uh, Rugged Ridge. Uh, these hood latches are pretty awesome. They look really beefy, um, look really mean, uh, kind of a you know just aggressive yet uh, modern kind of style. I like that a lot. AEV snorkel. Um, I got uh, the Poison Spider Hood Louver. It's one of my favorite mods. Just makes the Jeep look so much more mean. Um, uh, Vector Off-Road uh, Snubbies. You can get those if you're not folding down the windshield a lot. I'm not, so. Um, I sold my 20 inch bar. Some guy bugged me for it, so. Uh, and I wanted to go to single row anyways up there. It looked kind of, looked kind of like way too much. I mean, I have a lot of lice, no no, no kidding, but uh, yeah, I had a 20 inch dual row up there, so I kind of, uh, I, I was, I just sold it. The guy bugged me, bugged me for it, so. Sold it to him, and I'm going to a single row. Bushwhacker, uh, uh, that's a that's a cow scoop. Some people have them turned around the other side. I, I like to suck the air in uh, and kind of cool off the engine, just like a, up here. This is actually a dual purpose. That actually allows the heat, which really does come out of them. It just flows out of there and then sucks in cool air when you're running down the road, which is kind of cool. So it does not only look cool, it does have a purpose. So same thing with the Bushwhacker uh, cow scoop there. Um, these are Rigid Industry 20-inch uh, um, uh, uh, holders, the hood, uh, hood holders, um, which uh, they come with spacers and everything. They come right on the... The, they bolt right on. Literally takes like 30 seconds to install, which is really cool. Um, truck light headlights. Um, obviously, the diesel. You see my intercooler in there. I got a new bumper coming uh, from uh, a metal cloak. Uh, that's on my pallet in California. Uh, Ingo 50 inch LED bar. Um, these are Ingo spots on the side here. Um, they're duals. Obviously, this Antenna X little snubby antenna. This is the 13 inch. Uh, pretty cool. Um, these are HMF fabrication uh, mounts. You can barely see them back there. Uh, but uh, I had uh, I had Jordan over at HMF do me some custom custom thing on them, custom uh, little cutting. You can see it right here. It says JK in there, uh, which is kind of cool because it says JK up there, and you can't really see it from down here. Uh, but uh, when it, when it, when the sun shines, then you see JK in the in the windshield reflect off. It's pretty cool. But uh, that's a closer look at the mounts there. Um, very cool, very sexy. He's got a little little dirt on. But uh, uh, this is a, a, a Chinese light. Um, I got this off Amazon. Um, I want another spotlight when I'm out fishing or whatever and I want to look to the side. Uh, I, I use those. I got another one over there for that thing, but I have Jordan at HMF. Uh, he's doing me another mount up there, so it sits above the snorkel a little bit. Um, so it kind of matches. Right now, the regular original mount that I had done, uh, the snorkel interferes with it, so it won't work. Um, yeah, that's about it. These are from Rugged Ridge. You gotta have rain, rain little rain guards if you got full doors, man. Uh, I, I like that option, and I've always used it. This is Off-Road Heroes uh, top. This is a soft top. It actually goes in three sections, one, two, and then three. Uh, you can actually take the bot back off and roll with it open. You can take the sides off, roll like that, or you can leave the hatch on and take this off your passengers and yourself, or you can just take this off you and your passenger and keep these. Like, I have kids. I don't want them to have sun all the time, so I, I have that. Uh, I love that option. Um, the top is just a little bit pricey, but for its Lego-ish, you know, very modified function, um, it's clearly worth the money. And this, the second to none for the material and the workmanship that uh, Tim Taylor does for it over there at uh, Off-Road Heroes. Um, so, uh, you know, don't second, second guess the, uh, the price. It's, it's well worth it. Um, so Rugged Ridge uh, fuel cap cover here. You got the locking little cap in there too. It's kind of cool. Original bumper. I have a JCR Off-Road bumper on the way. Uh, it's on the pallet over at Revel as well. Rotopax mounts. Um, love the Rotopax mounts. They're awesome. This is a little uh, the uh, first aid preparedness one. They opened up right here, which is really cool. Uh, so that you can use this as a storage compartment. This one has first aid stuff in it. You know, uh, it's got some mosquito bug stuff in it. Yada yada yada. This one's got jumper cables and bungees and whatnot in the back. This is the black one here. It's for like extra storage stuff here. This is a water one, and this is a diesel. Um, which is, is kind of nice. Uh, got a little tow hitch back there. Uh, high lift jack, lock, locking mount and everything. Um, obviously my American flag, America. Um, Rugged Ridge uh, 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 light covers, light guards here. Um, I have a Terraflex uh, hinge carrier back here. Um, 
I have plans to put a lot of weight on this tailgate. Um, the JCR off-road bumper, actually, I got the shield one, so it, it carries everything, and it's got the one function door option, so when you open this back, you only have to open it by the handle, not a, you know, dual. Because in Korea, we have really compact parking and really compact areas. Sometimes we park in, I don't need to be opening one or two, or my wife being open in that, open it like that. She's kind of small, so um, I just want a one function, and that's what it is, and that's why I got the the, uh, the uh, Terraflex uh, hinge carrier, too. Uh, is that just more door support i mean bottom line more door support so uh, yeah that's why i got that and then i have a rotopax uh, multi-universal mount back there that's how i mounted that uh just for temporary until i get my new bumper in um i got stock rails on there right now but i have poison spider custom rocker knockers coming and then i have the um uh, body armor the aluminum body armor coming for it um i do have some tube doors i just have them off at this moment the best top element tube doors with these saddle bags which are awesome absolutely love them I also have armor, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, I have armor at the bottom there, custom any shop Korean armor, I got shock armor back there, uh, diff armor front and rear, um, I have my whole, the whole bottom of the Jeep is armor, things like three grand worth of armor under there, um, stuff like that, got your front bumper armor here, which is probably going to change when I get the new metal, metal clip bumper there, um, obviously more diff armor in the front, uh, skid armor up there, it's just some custom stuff I cut. But, uh, um, yeah, other than that, uh, I think that's it for the outside. Um, that's it, I think, for the outside. If we look inside, we got the uh, Trek Armor uh, grab handles, Trek Armor shade top. Um, I got Skyjacker, a little modified uh, holder up there. I love to put my hand up here. Uh, so I just put two Skyjacker um, things together. They kind of match my red and black theme, so that's what I did. Um, inside, what else I got? Uh, little custom wrap uh, dash panel here a little phone holder I have my CB up there just haven't put it there yet touch screen is a boss um, what else I got in here little stuff little stuff obviously check armor seat covers see those um, I have uh, uh, some uh, nine inch DVD screens uh, just TV screens for my my kids um, got some hardcore side impact uh, <laughs> seats uh, uh, seats, uh, booster seats and stuff like that for my kids. Um, you know, custom bags, uh, Trek Armor stuff back here. The bags, uh, Trek Armor bags back there. A little fire hydrant back there. Fire extinguisher, fire hydrant, fire extinguisher. Um, these are uh, Dirty Dogs, uh, custom strapping back there in the back. More uh, Trek Armor, you can see the Molly system that runs up and down. It was really, really sexy, actually. Um, these are the, actually, bolt-in uh, Trek Armor uh, options here. Uh, I love these. They're very simple to install. Same thing with these things. Um, the uh, grab handles. My kids love these. They love these, you know, kind of helps them get in and out. Um, and plus, I have a three and a half inch lift coming for it uh, on the pallet as well. So uh, they're going to need a little help getting in and out. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to help them, obviously, uh, when that stuff gets here. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Not a whole lot. It's going to get a custom wrap as soon as all the other modifications get done. And that's about it, guys. If you have any more questions or whatever, let me know. Um, yeah, the diesel Rubicon model, the Korean model, the CRD. Uh, rolls awesome. Got some custom wrapping, custom wrapping on the wheels there. It's just dirty. That's kind of what the Jeep will look like whenever it gets rewrapped. Um, it's going to come up on the hood, and the Rubicon's going to go red. And you'll have all the custom uh, logos and stuff like that coming up and down, all the sponsors and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. If you got any questions or whatever, comments, leave them for me, and I'll get back to you. Anyways, this is Brandon, TMLIK, Offered RC, Jeepers Korea, all that yada yada. Uh, see you guys later. Hope you have a good one. Later.